Presenting case 1605, Miss Jane Doe, a.k.a. Granny. She may look like an unassuming grandmother, but she's proven to be this department's biggest headache. Following the death of her husband and partner in crime, known only as Grandpa, it seems that Miss Granny has taken to gardening in her free time. But these aren't your average tomatoes and cucumbers, oh no. These veggies are sentient, dangerous, and highly unfit for human consumption. <sighs> Granny's still at large, and it's our duty to stop her and her illegal harvest. So far, Granny has been able to evade the hard hand of the law but we've been able to narrow her activities down to a few steps. Deep in the swamps, Granny seems to have built up quite the garden. She places soil, plants the seeds, and then waits. But this is no simple task. She's got to keep them watered, healthy, and free of the local fauna. Vile swamp sluglings. The better they're taken care of, the bigger they get. Now each plant has a specific function. Some protect the garden, others water it. Some need to be replanted constantly, and some are just, well... And whenever she runs out of water, she just gets it back from the swamp. That old lady don't give a damn. Once the veggies are fully grown, Granny loads them into crates, loads up her boat, and sets sail. Police agents are advised to pursue on sight. Even if we can't book her, at least we can knock some of those crates into the water. Eventually, she arrives at her contact, the trafficker. She then loads up the veggies and off she goes. Now, the trafficker likes to stay on the moon. So as soon as he's got the cargo, he moves on to the next location. So what does Granny do with all this cash? Hidden in the swamps is an accomplice of Granny, known to the Bureau by the name of Boomer. Boomer has been supplying Granny with seeds, soil, crates, and all kinds of contraptions. Post shopping spree, Granny makes her way back home to start all over again. And again, and again, and again. Surely she can't get away with this forever, can she?